Good evening everybody, we are back with a brand new video and today we are going to be doing another episode in our playthrough for Stardew Valley. I am really enjoying it so far, I haven't played it in years so I barely remember anything that happens in this game and there has been a lot of updates since then. So far we have just met a few of the villagers, we definitely have a few more to meet, I'm not too sure which ones that they are but we need to go and find them because I have no idea where they are. We are only a couple of days in so let's see what happens in the couple of days following the start of this playthrough. Okay so it's Thursday today and um, our goal I guess at the minute is to basically just get enough money together so that we can actually afford to be able to uh, like what is it upgrade your rucksack so that then I can carry like way more things so I'm luckily our parsnips have grown so that's pretty good well some of them for some reason some of them haven't I think I maybe split them all off into different things or maybe I completely forgot to water some of them I have no idea but let's go ahead and just water our remaining bits we can go and sell those to Pierre which is great we did miss a little thing that we had to do for abigail i think it was because she was it was a wednesday apparently someone told me this in the comments it was a wednesday and she doesn't leave her house on a wednesday if it's like if it's raining and apparently i hit a really bad point when i had to go and give her her like jojo thing basically this i had one of those tasks to do it and i picked a really bad day to do it because she wasn't going to leave the house so we weren't going to be able to complete that which is kind of annoying because now we just have this can there is another one so he's looking Elliot's looking for a herring to pickle I mean I may as well accept it we haven't actually gone fishing at all so I might do that today after we go sell these bits but to be fair we can go do fishing straight away we don't need to sell them yet because PS isn't even open yet we are looking for like a few more people let's see where we're currently at for that so we did do the getting started farmer one because we managed to do some parsnips and it wants me to build a coop for raising animals as well so we still have two people to find for the introductions one i'm not too sure who we still need to find i might have to do like a little like google and try and find where everybody is and then we can kind of go and find them specifically but i'm not gonna lie, i cannot remember who they are that we haven't met yet so let's just do a little bit of fishing now that we've got a rod that was a really bad throw i think you hold it don't you to get it further out which I imagine gets you better stuff so let's see if we can manage to catch a fish at all so we're looking for a herring which I'm hoping is like one of the more common ones we can't actually we don't actually have any space to put it anywhere so that's kind of annoying I don't know what that means that it's actually gonna do I might have to like drop something but we've managed to maybe catch a fish how do I do this oh you've just got to keep the green bar over where the fish is until it fills up which is fine let's see what we get it's a herring perfect literally exactly what we were looking for the problem is that we now have no space in our bag to be able to put the herring so i'm gonna have to like work out what to do here i'm gonna have to get rid of something let's get rid of the daffodil i guess it's not like super important is it then uh, let's go give elliot that daff that herring that we just managed to catch so i have no idea where elliot is isn't he the one that like hangs around this beach or am i thinking of someone else let's go to the store first and we can go sell our stuff so that we have some more space in our bag because i think that's definitely a problem i have no idea how much the upgrade is i'm hoping it's like a thousand or something like that because then it's not like super unattainable i know that there's like two upgrades but even just the first upgrade would be good enough for now so let's sell these bits that we've got we do have some more parsnip seeds i'm not too sure where they came from and i don't know why i didn't actually just plant those i can't sell these things though which is very odd but i guess i want to keep the rocks and the stuff stones don't I because those are like things that I should I feel like I should definitely keep they're kind of important did we just sell I think we just sold four of those so if we grab another four we can go and plant those I need to figure out where Elliot is I still have a feeling that he hangs out on the beach which like kind of annoying because we had to go like a little bit back and forth in order to actually go deliver it to him let's go replant some of these little bits here oh we definitely had more than four I think we had like quite a few so, but that's fine for now let's just quickly water these I guess everything kind of takes different amounts of times for the day and then I'm going to quickly do a google search and see if we can find where those remaining people are so there is a way that we can find it so I forgot that if you go to here you can see these individual people that we still need to meet the only issue is I have no idea what their names are so we need to basically work that out so I'm trying to find out who the who this person is and the small child I feel like the child will be easier to google is this person Leah probably not is it Penny? I oh, know it's not Penny. Penny's the ginger one, I think. So it's Haley, I think, is the one that we're looking for at the minute. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Haley. So let's find out where she'll be about now and we can just go find her. So apparently she'll be by the fountain left of the community center. Is what what's the community?
community center. Is that like one of the things in the main like area? I've got to remember we got to go give this thing to Elliot as well. And I'm pretty sure Elliot hangs out by the beach. So we'll have to do that after. Is the community center this, these things down here? Anything down here? Maybe not because there's not a fountain down here. Is the community, is this not the community center? This thing? I don't think it is. Wait, is this Elliot? Elliot. Okay, good. We have found Elliot. So now how do I give him this? Do I just pick it up and gift it? Wait, what? That wasn't what he wanted? I oh, know I gave him the wrong thing. I was supposed to give him a, a herring. Okay, but that was a mistake. He clearly did not like that drink that I gave him. But we have now given him that, which is great, adding more money towards our bag fund. See, I thought this was the community centre, but I feel like this might be, like, the mayor place. Is the community centre the thing that's, like, right at the top that I think eventually you can, like, fix up or something? I can't remember how you do it, but that's- I swear that's a thing. Ooh, more daffodils. See, so is this the community centre? This thing here. And then there's, like, a- here we go, here's the fountain. There she is. Okay, cool. So that's another person to off. Awesome. So now we need to find the- little girl with the purple hair so i'm gonna have to like work out where she's gonna be next there are so many of these flowers here i feel like i'm just gonna collect them all because that's just extra stuff that we can sell to get towards our bag so i'm gonna do a quick google again and find out where she is okay so i'm pretty sure it's going by her regular schedule which means that it's now 120 so she should be standing under the large tree west of marnie's ranch and jump rope so is marnie's ranch the one that's like up here i can't remember which one marnie is i have a feeling that it's this one but i might be wrong so we're gonna have to just double check is this marnie's ranch does she have a ranch maybe i'm wrong is marnie's ranch the one that's like lower than my ranch the one that's like on the map like underneath let's go see if she's there if it gets to three o'clock though she's gonna return home so then we're gonna have to like go all the way to her house to try and find her i might have to go quickly just sell these daffodils i don't think it's gonna get me enough money to be able to upgrade my bag today though which is sad isn't it like i gotta check as well like people's birthdays can i check it while he's there I don't think so. It's kind of annoying. Let's quickly go sell these. Oh, actually, let's find out how much this is. 2,000? Okay, yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to get enough by selling four daffodils, but we will keep having at it and hopefully we can get the upgrade for the bag soon. So I'm pretty sure that this is Manny's ranch. We are like really close to three o'clock though, so I don't know whether she's actually just going to like go home, which is going to be a little bit annoying if she has like one of those homes where you can't get in. Apparently she reads in the entrance way of the shop. Where does she live? Okay, so apparently she does live live here like in this area i'm gonna grab this thing so i feel like wild horseradish is something that i might want so oh there she is there she is there she is there she is no she went inside we're gonna quickly grab her before she goes somewhere there we go okay cool so we finished that bit now awesome and we did that delivery so let's get that money and we did all of those bits now so i have to give someone a gift as a way to build friendship now i feel like it's the mayor's birthday soon so i'm gonna quickly go double check when that is because i feel like that's a good time to give someone a gift i know you can give gifts whenever but I feel like that that's like the time to do it, right? I wish that there was like a run option. Is this meant to, I think this is meant to be the run option because if I hold shift, then I walk quickly go over here. Oh yeah, it's, we've got a while. It's Lewis's birthday. So it's Lewis's birthday on the 7th. So that's like quite a while away. I feel like it might be better to try and do one of these like a bit earlier. I don't know what kind of gifts people like. I'm assuming that horseradish isn't one. I feel like I should have kept one of those flowers, you know, because I feel like those flowers, like, they definitely would have been something good to give to someone. Let's go have a quick look and see if I can find another one of those flowers because I feel like that's one of those gifts that people would like like as opposed to the canned drink that I tried to give Elliot and he was like I don't want that get that gross thing away from me I'm gonna put it in the bin okay we are not finding any like flowers literally anywhere here let's just keep going I guess I'm gonna walk up here as well I should have given the cola to that like guy that lives up here okay well I've found another horseradish plant thing but that's definitely not I feel like something that you would give someone as a gift Oh, there's this thing. A leak. Okay, so I feel like I might give... Was his name like Lionel or something? I might give him this leak because he can eat it and he might like it. No, I don't want to eat the leak. I want to give it him as a gift. There we go. This is a great gift. There we go. I gifted him. He got a gift. And then I got 100 for that. Awesome. So we're like... Where are we at now? 925. So we're already close to being able to get to like 1,000. Obviously, we need 2,000 for the bag. So yeah, that's the aim here. It wants me to leech, reach farming level 1 and to craft a scarecrow. So I have no idea how to do that so i'm assuming it's just by planting things i think i can get back to my house from here right oh there's another radish grab that radish i feel like i should be doing more with my farm should we go just like maybe chop 
some trees? I don't know what I need for the scarecrow. Ooh, okay, so coming down from here, this place needs like some TLC for sure. So let's just go ahead and do some of that. Use up some of my energy before the end of the day. Um, I don't know what, which order to do this in. Let's just chop some wood and things and see how it goes. We do have like this big thing over here, which I can't remember what that turns into. This this big old thing over on the side. I know that it turns into something. A, a, is it like a greenhouse or something? I know that there's a cave somewhere as well that I can like go and get like fruit from, like a fruit bat or something. Don't actually know where that is though. Maybe this turns into like a greenhouse. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. Okay, it is now getting dark. I still have like quite a lot of energy. So I'm just kind of like slicing around and trying to get, get like all that energy used up, but I can't really see that well because it's dark now. I'm just collecting all these things. I feel like weeds or, or like, what are these called like grass clippings or whatever are like definitely used for something later in the game i feel like it'd be but i don't think it's something that i necessarily want to keep around i know that it takes like a while to get all the wood and everything so i definitely want to do that but there's not really much of a point in me keeping anything else. We did just get like a bunch of these wild seeds though, so I'm going to quickly go plant these two just so that we have more stuff. Always better to have more things growing, I think. There we go. And then I'm just going to dump all of these weed things into here because I don't think they're that important. I'm going to do the wild horseradish as well. Then let's head to bed. I feel like that was a pretty good day. We did quite a bit. Got like almost a thousand coins now. Getting some more now from selling these radishy things and these random bits of grass. So we are now over a thousand, which is pretty good. We managed to complete like the introductions quest line, which is good as well. Ooh, so we've got, is this Marnie? Marnie, we have Marnie here. Was oh, she giving me a cat? I get a cat. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray poor little thing. I will take it. Give me all the cats. I think it likes this place, don't you think? Yeah, just give me the cat. Cool. What do I want to call him? I'm going to call him Hex because it makes sense. It'd be better if he was a black cat. I feel like Hex would work better with a black cat but I will take a ginger cat. I also have mail, which is exciting. Oh, it's about Jojo Mart customers. Our team members have removed the land slide caused by our drilling operation. Oh, no, <laughs> responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. I apologize for any inconvenience this may ca cause. Well, well, okay, cool. It's just, you know, adding to the, making you feel like it's a bad place. We have more parsnips, exciting. Nothing else has grown yet, which is fine. Quickly go ahead and just water all my bits. I think today I'm going to go do some more fishing. So we're just going to head all the way down and grab as many fish as I can. I was going to sell these first, but Piers isn't open yet. So we'll just kind of fill in all of the extra little spaces that we've got just to try and make some more money. Oh, I did just find a shell though. And I think this like clam thing is actually worth quite a bit. I think that this clam is actually worth quite a bit. So I'm going to do that. This is like, we have some like bits of water here, which I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming that it's good and I kind of want to get it. It might be like like a more rare fish. Oh, I am not very good at this. Don't move. No, it moved. Oh, this is not going well. Okay, we got it. Let's see if it's anything good. A halibut. Okay, is a halibut like a better fish? Let's see if I can catch more things like that. I'm catching quite a bit here. I don't know whether maybe just the, the ripples in the water mean like that there's a lot of fish in that area. So if I go here, then I don't have to wait that long. I got a sardine. So we're going to try and catch something else. If I can get it, I can actually, can I sell fish to him? I think I can. So that might be a better idea because then I have to have less in my bag because I can just keep going back to him. Okay, yeah, now we caught a different thing, which is kind of annoying because we don't have enough space. Oh, I'm going to have to get rid of the clam. Okay, I'll get rid of the clam. Oh, but I didn't even save the fish. Ah, uh, that's so annoying. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll catch another fish and then I'm going to go sell them to him. I'm hoping that I catch the same thing over and over again because then they just stack up. Oh, is that a gift? Oh, no. No, I lost my fish because I tried to get the chest. Okay, ignore the chest if it pops up again. Ooh, a flounder. Okay, let's go sell these things to... Oh, no, that's not the entrance. <laughs> let's go sell these things to him. He does want to buy these, which is good. So I'm just going to keep doing that for as long as I can. I think we get quite a decent amount from fish. So I'm kind of hoping that we can actually get to the 2000 today. The bit that I'm like really excited about that I think I used to do quite a bit when I would play this game is like not the fishing because I find the fishing like not that exciting. But you know the bit where you get into the cave system like later on and you can like fight things which like that was like one of my favorite things to do. But you'd always have to like have loads of food ready and stuff to be able to like make it through all of the different levels. I was never really that good at it though so let's we'll, we'll see if I've gotten worse. 
than worse, worse than bad, and we'll see whether I can actually do it any better. But I think that'll be an interesting time. We are catching a few things, the same things twice. I did catch a silver sardine, which I guess that's like a, just a, maybe it sells for more or something. There we go, and we caught a herring, so now all of our bag is full. I don't want to risk it again, so we'll just go and sell these bits as well. Okay, so we are on 1,000, almost basically 1,500, so we are really close. I'm going to just keep going until we get to the point that I can afford the bag. And it's only half 10, so we should be able to do it in time. Oh no, the little moving fish and stuff have disappeared. That's really annoying because now it's going to take me much longer. I think I was doing it quite well because it was like busier fish, so now I'm just going to have to wait. Oh, we managed to catch a gold sardine, which I'm hope hoping that like, that like is more. This one, it's so 40 and 60. So it's not worth like a mad amount more, but I guess it is only a sardine, which is like tiny. Another thing that I'm kind of concerned about is the fact that our energy levels are kind of getting low as we're like slowly building up here, but we are so close to 2000. And we maybe only need like a couple more sails and then we might be there. So I've just spotted an additional bunch of bubbling water so we're gonna head over it and go to that part so that we can actually maybe try and get like a few more fish in a bit of a speedier time if I can reach there which I should be able to on like a maximum. Yeah we're good. Ideally if we can I would like to actually get a little bit more money so we can get more seeds and we can get more things growing. I also need to build a scarecrow so I need to work out how to do that as well. And I think there's like a little build section in the menu that you basically just go to but it wants me to reach a certain level as well of like farming so I need to work out how to do that as well and I'm imagining planting and picking stuff up is probably going to do that. Oh, I caught seaweed that kind of sucks. Can I eat seaweed? I think I can actually can I? That might actually help my energy levels. Let's eat this seaweed. It does. I can eat it. Okay yeah eat that seaweed. It's just taking up space in my bag anyway. Just increases my my health. Oh it just increases and it does increase my energy a little bit. Okay that's fine. Let's try and get one more thing in my bag that we can then go sell and we should be able to get to that one uh 2000 that we need okay so that should do it and we do have obviously our parsnips in our bag as well that we need to go sell to pierre as well i can't remember what time pierre's closes so i need to basically just run if you're enjoying this video so far be sure to like share and subscribe go 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 i feel like it's like four or five so i'm hoping that he's still open by the point i get there okay good he is still open and i can go get that bag yes Okay, I have three remaining, which is not much, but now I have much more space in my bag, which is great. And then we can sell some of these and I'm going to grab some more bits as well. Let's get some of these bean sprouts. I'm just going to get two and then I'm going to go do my last little bits. I have no more energy, basically. I'm basically like n nothing more that I can do today, really. And it's almost like four o'clock. It's barely even like gone through the day. We still have loads of the day left, but I literally have so little energy. So I'm going to plant these and then we're going to have a look at doing the scarecrow. So, to build a scarecrow, I mean, there's no scarecrow on here, so I'm guessing, do I just do it based on my level? I can do wood paths and gravel paths and cobble paths. Some of these you do actually need fibre for, so I'm going to be really annoyed if I needed fibre for this scarecrow. Maybe I should, um, like, get some more fibre. I'm assuming this is fibre, yeah, just in case I do need it for my scarecrow. Okay, so apparently it's... I can level up my farming by harvesting crops, petting animals, milking cows and goats and stuff, which I don't have those things. But I do have a cat. So can I go pet my cat and maybe that'll increase it? I mean, I don't even know where that cat is. Is my cat inside? Let's get like 10 of these. I don't know how much I'm going to need, but I feel like 10 might be all right. Oh good, my cat is here. So is this petting it? Wait, it gave me a bonsai tree? Can I put this? Oh, I can move around the stuff in my house. I did not know that I could do that. Um, Let's... I'm moving stuff way too quickly. I don't know what I did. Where did my bonsai tree go? Here it is. I'm going to put my bonsai tree just next to my other tree here. I mean, that was it for petting my cat, I think. And we basically have no energy left. So I'm going to keep just hamming down on cleaning out our outside area until I basically just become super exhausted. Oh, there we go. I'm now too exhausted to actually do anything. So let's go to bed. It's 7 p.m. I think that's about right. That seems fine. There we go. So level one, oh, level one foraging, not level one farming, which is kind of annoying. But that did give me a new recipe and wild seed packets which is kind of good and i level up leveled up in fishing as well which makes sense because i basically spent the whole of yesterday fishing just realized as well i have more wild seed bits so i'm just going to put that here then we're going to go through and water all our plants i think what i'm going to do today is actually do a little bit more i could do more fishing or i could make some stuff i think we just need to get a little bit more money together so that we can buy more props so i think i'm gonna go back and we can do a bunch more fishing but i'll skip that out for you guys because it's not the most exciting thing to watch me fish. and we'll just try and get as much money as possible and then we'll go back and just buy like a bunch of seeds so that we can level up this farming 
thing that we need to do in order to get a scarecrow. It is also, oh hang on, I just realised it's Lewis's birthday tomorrow, so we need to work out what he wants for his birthday. Let me just double check, it's definitely the seventh, right? Oh, we got this thing as well. Someone wants a potato. I don't have potatoes, so I can't really do that. It is Lewis's birthday tomorrow, so let's have a quick Google and see what he wants. So all the things that he likes, I don't think I actually have, because it's things like, apparently he loves a bunch of different recipes, and I don't have the things for any of those recipes, but he likes green tea and things as well, blueberries, coconuts, and cactus fruits. I don't have those things. I don't know whether I can get a hot pepper from somewhere, but I think apparently that's in the summer, so I can't even grow those right now. I don't know if it's actually possible to get any of these things and just buy them from someone, as opposed to like having to make them myself. Okay, so I actually managed to get a chest this time, so let's see if I can get anything good. So it's geodes. So geodes, I think you can take them to Clint and he'll like crack them open and give you something out of them. So after we've filled our bag with fish and gone and sold a bunch of those, I'm going to go to Clint and we can see if we got anything good. I also got some coal and I don't know what that's actually like used for really. I don't know if it's worth keeping or whether I should just like bin it. Okay, so we got another chest. Let's see if we got anything good in it. Another geode. Okay, so that's just more stuff that we can go ahead and try and unpack with Clint. We're getting like later in the day now so I, i'm just gonna head off and just sell oh he's not even there okay that's fine i think we can still sell the fish to pierre but i'm honestly not too sure so now i'm a little bit worried that we're not actually going to even be able to sell these but let's go to clint first so that we can talk to him about getting these geodes looked into process geodes so let's see what we get i don't know how to do this how do we do it oh do we need money first Oh, it costs 25 in order to process a geode. So wh where the heck is... What's his name? Willy? Where is he? I need to sell these fish. Let's go see if Pierre can do it. If he can't, then I'm gonna be really upset because I have no idea where he is and I need to sell these to be able to make money to process my geodes. I don't know why I thought that he would just process them for free. Pierre, do you want to buy my fish? No! Okay, let's quick Google again. I feel like there's a lot of Googling involved when it comes to this game. It's his day off on Saturday? Oh, that's so annoying. I mean, I literally can't sell anything to him and Pierre won't take anything else that I want to sell. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, that's fine, I guess. We're gonna have to deal with it. I'm just not gonna be able to make money. We do need to work out what to get um willy no not willy lewis though so let's go have a quick look again at what sort of stuff he liked i don't think i can buy any of these things i know that in the like saloon down here we can buy some food i don't know if any of the food that they sell here though is stuff that he wants he does sell recipes though but i don't think any of these recipes are the things that he's gonna want because it's like autumn's bounty which it's not even autumn yet it's still spring so i can't do that glazed yams which he doesn't sell the recipe for that either. Green tea, which I don't, I, I'm assuming I brew that myself. I can't find that either. Hot peppers, which is only in the summer and a vegetable medley. Can I, can he sell me the recipe for a vegetable medley? No. Okay. So basically useless. And um, we do have universal likes or universal loves. So let's see, have a look at what's in the universal loves. A lot of stuff that I don't think I can get. We do have universal likes though. Let's see if any of those are things that I could get him. So that does include orange materials like uh, except quartz which varies depending on the villagers we've got all flowers so I could get him some flowers he would like flowers like, and all cooking except for fried egg br and bread which are universally neutral strange bun and sea foam pudding which are universally hated to be honest that sounds delicious though what if I got him um spaghetti which is cooking but I don't have enough money so but we could get him spaghetti tomorrow this is where like he just he likes cooking but he doesn't like spaghetti I mean who doesn't like spaghetti I like spaghetti that does mean I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do now I think I'm just gonna go use my remaining energy to again clear up my area I'm gonna go pet my cat because that increases my farming for some reason. So let's just go continue hacking, I guess, at all of these things. Okay, so we've cleaned up like sort of the base majority of this. I'm then gonna go sleep, even though it's only like five o'clock. And then we've got to work out getting Lewis his present tomorrow for his birthday. So we have leveled up again in fishing. Makes sense. I can now craft bait, which is kind of cool. It's raining today. Oh no, he ate one of my potatoes. That's so annoying. It's raining today though, which means that that affects 
complex, I think, where people are, which I guess that makes sense. Also, I swear, like, oh, there's a flower there as well, which I think is a, another universal light, or it's a universal neutral or something. Oh, I got a book, a lost book. I don't know what that means. You found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. Do I... Okay, so I just in immediately give it to them. I don't want this broken CD. I feel like that's kind of useless. We do have potatoes now, which is kind of exciting. So I need to work out which which is like a universal like and which one's a universal love, because all flowers and all cooking, I could just give him the flower. Wait, except Poppy, which is universally hated. Why do people hate poppies? That seems really weird. So now I need to find him as well, and it's raining, so where's it? Because now I have a flower, and I'd rather give him a flower than something that I have to pay for in cooking. So it's raining today. Where's he gonna be? Schedule. Gardening in front of his manor. Is he still gonna be doing that, even though it's, like, raining? Okay, yeah, it is different if it's raining. So his manor is locked at 8.30, which is around about where it is now, but he is in his kitchen. So let's go find him. He should just be in his house. Oh, there's another flower here as well. There he is. Let's give him his gift. So I'm gonna have to shift some stuff around and then we're gonna give him a flower as his birthday present. A birthday gift. Thank you. Did he like that? I can't tell. We can go to here, can't we? Yeah, he has a little like heart. You can give gifts to people every day, I think, as well. I do eventually need to work out who I want to date and stuff as well. I know that there's some people that for some reason everybody hates when it comes to like dating. I don't know why, but for some reason it's Harvey, I think, is one that everybody seems to hate. If you know why people don't like him, please leave. let me know in the comments because I honestly don't understand why people don't like him. Now we can get to Pierre and actually sell potatoes and sure we'll sell this flower as well. And that does give us a little bit of money to actually buy some more seeds which is a perfect time because I don't have to water them. Um, let's go with like some more expensive ones. We'll get so four kales because I think that will then give us more money, I guess. How much is this next pack? 10,000. Okay, yeah, that's a lot. So I think it's going to be a solid while before we can actually get that. Oh, wait, I was saving money so that I could then go and like process these geodes. So let's go sell the fish first and then we'll come back. Ooh, I managed to get a dried starfish. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I can sell that to Willy. Let's see if he wants to buy it. Is he even in yet? Yeah, he is. Cool. So let's go sell. I can't sell the dried starfish for him, but I might be able to give it to someone else. Let's sell all these fish and the clams. I've now got 745, which is perfect. We can go process those geodes now. Okay, let's see what we get. We got, I don't even know what that is. Earth crystal. That's kind of cool. We got, is that copper? Yeah, copper ore. Ooh, that one looks cool. We got cel celestine. I feel like I'm probably saying that wrong. More copper ore. And finally, did something. Orp orpiment? Orpiment. I feel like those things are kind of cool. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, so I might just sell them to him. Let's just, let's, let's sell these. I feel like the copper ore might be something that I would use later, maybe to like build something, but it's fine. Oh, I can also sell this coal. Cool. So that's almost a thousand then that we've regained back from just selling a bunch of stuff to him. I still need to reach level one farming. So now that we've got a bunch more money, I'm just going to go buy like a huge amount of seeds. I don't know whether you maybe get more levels in farming based on like the rarity of the plant. So the, not rarity, but like the expense of the plant so like if i buy the cauliflower seeds do i get more level based on than if i did parsnips and something like that let's get four tulips we got some kale already let's get some more potatoes um and then let's get some more cauliflower we've got 300 left let's get some jazz seeds because i haven't got those and those are quite cheap so i could go with another two of those as well and um, what else do we need let's grab another two of these cool so now i can go ahead and go plant all of those that should give us a decent amount of things to harvest later don't ask me about the shape that i'm planting all of these things in they are definitely not in any sort of order but there we go we now have all of our new things planted definitely looking a little bit more like a farm now now that we've got like more bits um i don't really know what else to do today other than just going and fishing and trying to get more fish so that we can get more money so i may as well just go do that can i do it in this little pond here or do i get like less fish or something just so that i don't need to like run around i found a soggy newspaper that's not that exciting and a can of cola i am not finding any fish in this i wonder if it's just too small of a pond and a stick okay so i definitely feel like maybe i'm not going to catch fish there what about in this bit over here this looks more like where you'd have fish or not because i just caught some trash and a cd so i feel like that there's definitely no fish there and it is getting kind of late so maybe i'll just put him to sleep and we'll see what happens so i can oh this is an artifact so i can actually give it to gunther which i'm gonna go do we'll also get rid of that can I'm gonna get rid of the seaweed as well and these just random bits that we caught. Then let's 
Uh, let's go to... Actually, I don't know what time the close is, so it's probably best to just do it tomorrow. There we go. So we've leveled up our farming now so we can build a scarecrow, which is perfect. Oh, and then we've got Clint. Hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. I mean, not really. I've been fishing. <laughs> he's just letting me know that... He... Oh, no. He's giving me the prints for a furnace. Cool. Okay. I mean, I've only really been doing that because I caught them fishing. But yeah, I guess a furnace is good too. Then I also have a letter. I've got some new items in stock. A deluxe fishing pole. That's probably a good idea given how much I've been fishing recently. Oh, and we have some more parsnips that have finally grown. Grab all of those. Some of our other things look like they're growing well. Let's go do a big water. So now we can work out how to build a scarecrow. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's just in here. So we need, oh, we need coal. That's so annoying. <laughs> I literally sold that piece of coal that we caught. Okay, that's fine. We need 50 wood and uh, we need 20 fiber. The fiber's quite easy to get. The wood's quite easy to get. That piece of coal, I'm so annoyed that I sold that because clearly we needed it. Let's maybe chop down some of these trees. I feel like they're kind of getting in the way anyway. Okay, so I chopped down like just a bunch of trees and now we have like loads of wood. So we do need a little bit more like of these fibers and then we need to go find coal somewhere. I'm so annoyed that I sold that coal. I don't know whether I can just buy coal from Clint, which would actually be much easier. So I'm gonna go see if I can do that and just basically buy it back from him. Okay, so we have enough fiber now as well. So let's go see if we can get that coal from him because I don't know if there's any other way of doing it. Actually, wait, if I break these, can I get coal from these? Probably not. I feel like that's a bit of a random one. I'm going to Google it. Okay, so apparently you can get them from breaking rocks. So let's just go break a bunch more rocks and see if we can get it that way. If I can even find rocks. There you go. There's some over here. Unless by breaking rocks, it meant like those big ones. Oh, dang, I've run out of energy. Let's go see if Clint does sell them because if he does, that'd be perfect. Ooh, we've got like a little story. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. Yeah, okay. I mean, I think it's kind of pretty. I like run down buildings. The Peloton Count Community Center, or what's left of it. I'm guessing he's just going to tell me that he wants it all fixed up. Used to be the pride and joy, bustling, yeah, yeah, yeah. These days, then young folks rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so that they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. If anyone else buys a jo Jojo Co membership, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. I wonder if you can buy a membership as a person and then it he just sells it and then you never fix it up. Wow, it's way bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, you got these little like cute spirit boys. I see not seeing any of these. So I'm going to head back in there and just see if there's anything else going on. I think that there's like bits that you can pick up and things like this. Or maybe not. I thought that you could. I am like really low on energy. There's definitely things that you can check out. I think we'll leave it for now though and we'll check it out tomorrow just because my energy is so low and I keep accidentally clicking it where we're accidentally performing an action and I think I'm <laughs> gonna pass out. Let's go sell a bunch of stuff to Pierre first though. So I'm gonna sell my parsnips. We do have like a bunch of sap as well and we do have these things which I'll just sell those as well. Then I am gonna grab... Oh, I always forgot how much I just sold so that then I can replace it. We'll leave it for now. We've got quite a few things growing. We'll, we'll save the money. Then, do we have a birthday coming up soon by any chance? Vincent's birthday is over there. I can't remember what he likes, but we'll we'll work it out later. We've got a few days. And we have literally no energy left. So I think what I'm... Oh yeah, I was going to get to Clint's and we were going to see if we could get um, coal from Clint's. Which I feel like there's a chance he might sell it. When do you sell coal? He does! Okay, so we can make our scarecrow today, which is great. And then I'm also going to quickly go and give this star that I have to the library museum thing. Oh no wait, didn't it automatically give it to him? Yeah, there we go. He's like, abysmal, not a single piece in the entire collection. You found something? Let me see. Remarkable. It's very old. Isn't it like a star? It's just a dried star. Is it that old? Okay, and he's like, will you donate it? Because there's literally nothing here. I'm surprised that they have nothing. It's a bit of a, a not that great museum if you literally have nothing. Donate to museum. There we go. You can have this star. I'll put it uh, next to the fire. There we go. And then we have like literally no energy left for any other kind of fishing or anything so I think today's gonna be quite short but let's just go back make our scarecrow and place it next to all of our plants and hopefully they'll stop getting eaten okay so let's make our scarecrow that was quite <laughs> simple to make and I'm just gonna stick it directly I guess just in the middle here perfect so I'm gonna just send our guy off to bed now then just because he has literally no energy and I'm so worried he's gonna pass out and I think we are gonna end it there as well for today guys it we have made great progress we've done loads of new achievements obviously you can see here that we've managed to get some money from giving something to Gunter. Rat problems, obviously got to investigate that 
that community center, which we can do next time. We've got this achievement here for making the scarecrow, and then we still have a bunch of stuff that we need to do. But I think that is pretty good for what we've managed to do today. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post long content like this every Wednesday and Friday at around 6 p.m. I also post shorts the rest of the week. Obviously, my normal content isn't really Sardi Rally related, it's more Sims related. I just thought that we could try out a little bit of a different game as we have been playing The Sims 4, obviously, majority of my channel. And I absolutely love Sturdy Valley, and I, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this content too. I have now made also a playlist for this Stardew Valley series, so if you'd like to check that out, it's on the screen now. Uh, there is also a recommended video, and I hope you all have a great evening.